Hi, Zed here with Champions Marketing. I just wanted to review and share with you a product that we represent through Sioux Chief Manufacturing that has been saving contractors time and money for a while now. And I wanted to just kind of do a brief overview just in case you haven't seen it yet. It's called the Sioux Chief Finish Line Drain. Now I'm going to share my screen with you and show you a few things that may be interesting to you and maybe on your next project we may be able to help you with. So at this time I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here and I'm going to show you a few things about this product that makes it outstanding from the rest of the product lines that are out there and maybe give you some ideas on how it could save you money compared to other manufacturers similar products. So let's get right into it. First thing I want you to notice is that Sioux Chief is a full on manufacturer of drains. Now we've never really been known, I guess, for this. On the PVC side, we have been, but most don't know that we do carry a full line of commercial drainage, including floor sinks, roof drains, and large high volume drains as well, made up of cast iron, polymer, obviously, and then also stainless steel, believe it or not. We do have them in several different configurations, but today I want to specifically get into our finish line. So what makes finish line different or better than what's out there? Well, I don't know that it does, but what I do know is that contractors have a time when it comes to drains. Some of the major issues that they face have a lot to do with setting the drain before it's time for construction to happen. So during construction, the contractor either needs to set the pipe or set the drain and they're going to pour the slab. Well, one of the things that happen if you make the decision to set the drain is that you're going to have to put the drain out there and it could end up getting damaged during construction. It could end up getting all the trash that's on the job site. And then after the concrete is poured, you really don't have that much adjustment. Well, what you can do with finish line is you don't have to have the finished drain out on the job site. We allow for the finished fixture to come on after the site. And if the contractor or the, the tile or the owner wants to put tile, now you have some adjustment after the concrete pour. So yes, we were the first to come out with the adjustable drain after the concrete pour. Now this is what really makes finish line special. So one of the things you can look at um, when it comes to finish line is this one. If you have to box it out, you still need to put the drain out on the job site. Some guys will put duct tape on it to cover it up, to protect it, but there's really not a real good way to box it out. Another way, uh, another thing that happens obviously is the construction stuff. So whenever it's time to finally put the final grade on there, you're going to have um, an ugly looking drain. And I think that um, most people have been to a job site where they've seen drains that just look terrible because they did not have a lot of adjustment. And the drain before the building even opens up is already damaged and looks bad and the owners don't like it, it's not pleasing. So how can we fix this? Well, one thing that most contractors do is this right here, what we call boxing out. Now they'll do this on a job site to eliminate all of those terrible things and then afterwards have to cut up around it and um, set the drain and bring it to level and then pour concrete again and make sure that it's level with all the other concrete at the job site. I, I had the privilege of joining one of our contractors that installed the finish line drain on a job site and he shared some insight what makes it, uh, what, what he thinks makes a big difference when it comes to the finish line drain. Let's see what he has to say. So tell me about how they install this and um, have to, if they box it, how much more work is involved versus using the finish line drain? So if there were a blockout box or plywood box around the drain, then we would require to remove the dirt out from the, from the blockout box itself. And then once we remove that out, we have to scrape around the drain just so we can have access to the piping. And then on top of that, whenever they pour the concrete, Whenever you have a box, a lot of times the concrete guys will form like an edge around it. So now we require to actually jackhammer around the entire edge of it just so we can remove that excess lip. So that way it's not forming like a little dam around the drain. 
Got so it. we had to chip it out just so that way when we pour back the concrete, it's nice and flush. Because not always is there tile or mud that can be adjusted. Like in, in this instance, this floor is epoxy. So we have to make sure it's flat. Otherwise, they won't say the water's draining to the drain like it's supposed to. So, so that's why a lot of times having the drain set prior is a big plus in that sense. Because in this instance, each opening, each drain pipe costs us an hour, hour and a half of time per box, just in terms of removing it, pouring back the concrete, setting the drain, chipping it around. So, and that means a lot to you guys, especially when you're trying to get the job done. Yeah, like in this. This restaurant, in an instance, has over 20, 25 openings like this that we have to do. So every single one, we have to do the same thing. So so that's 25 hours. That's about 25 hours that we have to do just to just to get it. Unless we have, that's 25 hours we would have saved, but we just set it in the first place. Got so it. it makes a big difference. Awesome. We're here at the Dish Society, and um, they're placed on. So it is uh, that that job was at a restaurant. Uh, where he's trying it out now um, and going forward this contractor is continually he's, he's standard using our drain now now here is a little pictorial of what typically is put out on a job site on the left here it says your standard drain and what we do differently so in the middle you're going to see that we have a well a, a four-part piece to it and so on the job site you're going to have this base go out um, you're going to put the coring sleeve and this would act as kind of like this part would normally on the job site that they could bring it to grade. And then this little plug right here that would go on top. And this would allow them to go ahead and pour the concrete without having to box anything out. And then when it's time for, um, for them to come and set the final finish drain, they have an additional inch and a quarter adjustment after the concrete pour. So that saves a lot of room just in case the concrete is poured over the drain a little too much, or if they add tile or whatever, it gives you some adjustment. It also has the ability to go up higher if need be. This is what makes the finish line drain unique and different and makes it a contractor preferred product out on the job. And here on the right side, you could see we have various connections. We have a no hub connection. We have a push on connection. We also have this available in this design in a polymer if it's going to be um, on a first floor only and it doesn't have to be in a return air plenum. They all come with nickel bronze tops. This makes this the choice of contractors for drains on all projects. So just a quick review. What makes finish line different? Well, you have a finished product every time that looks great when it's installed. You don't have to worry about boxing out. You can leave the coring plug and the drain hub and the base at the job site throughout construction where scissor lifts and all the other junk and trash could get all over it. And then after and when it comes time, um, you're able to break out the coring top or a coring plug and put in your finished product. We also have a leveling shims to where if there's any sloping in the concrete, you could easily put that right in there and give you a finished product every time. We are very happy to present this and have this product to you and available through Sioux Chief Manufacturing. Now here at Champions, we're the representatives here in Texas and Louisiana, and uh, we'd love to help you with any products, needs that you have. Reach out to your local representative. I'm sure they're happy to help you. Within this video, I'm sure there's gonna be some contact information if you'd like to know more about this. Um, we'd love to help and share with you um, more about our finish line drain and other products that we represent. Take care and have a great day.